Jesus then, in verse 8, I'll leave you with this. Jesus is saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Look at this, Jesus is same as his dad, who is, who was, and who is to come. Jesus Christ says, I and the Father are one. We are all one. I am God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. This is the answer to everyone who claims to be a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon. This is the answer to everyone who claims to be a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon. Open your ears properly. Because you claim that Jesus Christ is lesser than God Jehovah. Well, if Jesus, in the book of Revelation, which you accept as well, says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. What is Alpha and Omega? Alphabetical letters. These are letters. I am the A and the Z. Or in the American accent or style, Z. I am the A and the Z or Z. My question. Is there anything, alphabetically speaking, is there anything before the A? Is there anything after the Z? Okay, if Jesus Christ is less than God, and Jesus says, I am the A and the Z. Now, if he is the A, where would I put God if there was another God greater than him? Where would I put him? There is nothing before the A. And if he is the Z, where would I put God after Z? There is no other letter. So if Jesus is the A and the Z, he is God. If he is the beginning and the end, is there a beginning to a beginning? No. Is there an end to an end? No. It is either the beginning or the end. Nothing before it, nothing after it. And if Jesus says, I am the beginning, if there was a God greater than him, where would I put that God? No place for him anymore. And if there was a God greater than Jesus, where would I put him after that end? There is nothing after the end because everything ends with an end. I am the Alpha and the Omega letters. I am the beginning and the end time. With letters, you make words. And with words, you profess and comes into wishing. When we read in the book of Genesis, in the very beginning, and God saw it was dark, and God said, let there be light. What did he say? Letters, words. So, when God said, let there be light, light was made, was created because of those words that were said. So I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Word, the Logos, that everything was made through it and created. Through the Word, things were created. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the Creator. I am the beginning and the end. I am the creator of time because I put the beginning and I put the end. I surpass time. I am beyond the time and above it. I am God. You read Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, Elohim created Alpha and Omega. The word created. Heavens and earth. But what is, how does it start? In the beginning. The beginning is the time created heavens and earth. Elohim created heavens and earth. So what were the heavens and earth, how, how were they created? By the logos, the word. Through the word, everything was created. And then when you read in the Gospel of John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, logos, and the word was with God, and the word was God. How come an atheist has the right to attack me as a Christian and I can't say nothing because he is in the right? Where is fairness? Where is justice here? 
Where is freedom of speech? Where is freedom of religion? I wonder, I'm saying this to every nation. What happened? You know what? We're living in the end of times. The attack is against Jesus Christ. Because Satan is behind all of this. Satan will not attack Muhammad because he won him long time ago. Satan will not go after Buddha because he won him long ago. Satan will not go after Krishna because he won him and the 300 million gods long ago. Satan was overcome by one and was crushed on Calvary. His name is Jesus. That's why he will attack Jesus. And everyone who professes and confesses Jesus Christ will be attacked. My beloved children, I know what happens at school. I know exactly what happens. You need to be equipped in your Christian faith, otherwise it is not a joke of what is happening in the world. They are brainwashing everyone. The social media platform is doing a great job in giving you nothing but lies. Lies. But Jesus will always remain the ruler over every nation. Yes, in this country, you can go out and live on your own. And no one can stop you. The law says parents cannot stop you. Someone like me cannot stop you. But I'll tell you one thing, you go and live on your own and let me see where you're going to end up. Anyone that not, does not listen to Jesus Christ will end up in darkness, in a very bad place. Not every parent is a parent, not every dad is a dad, not every mom is a mom, however, just because some parents do not do what is asked of them to do as parents. That does not mean every parent is in the same scale. There are great parents. There are very good mom and dad with very great values in them and principle and morals in them. And they want to raise their kids in the right manner. But what is happening out there in the world, they are being bombarded. Those kids are being bombarded with lies. Lies, my beloveds. Lies. Listen, guys. Every human being came from Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I just don't know where Steve came from. I have no idea. Looks like from Satan. We are Christians. We need to know what our Christian faith says. And what I'm saying, I'm not judging. I have the right to teach my faith to my children. As a spiritual dad, I have the right to teach it. I'm not judging. I pray for everyone who does not believe in the Christian faith or in Christ. I pray for them and I love them. But I cannot do and cannot accept what the Lord does not accept. I cannot. Jesus Christ is the ruler. Time flies when you're having fun. I'll read it very quickly and I'll conclude with this. Look at this. To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Who is him? Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ? The ruler over every leader in this, on, on this earth. So Jesus Christ who rules all the kings of the earth, to us what is he? He loved us and he washed us from our sins with his own blood. Therefore, why are we afraid of getting close to Jesus? Jesus Christ who rules the world is the one who loved us, not loves us now in the past tense, not the present. He loved us before he made us and created us. Jesus to us is all love. Jesus to us is all salvation and redemption. With his own life, he put it on the line to give us life. With his own blood, washed us clean from every sin, every mistake, every error. Isn't he worthy of our love and respect? We need to come closer to Jesus, my beloveds. 
Read the Holy Bible. Stop using your iPhone and iPad and iPad. <laughs> it was this dad who had three sons. One son put his hand up and said, I have an iPhone. The other son said, I have an iPod. The other one said, I have an iPad. And daddy, looking so miserable, put his hand up and he said, and I paid. <laughs> Stop being on the net, on Facebook and on Instagram and I don't know what else is out there. Grab the Holy Bible and read. Become familiar with Jesus of what he says and what he teaches. Use some time with the Lord. Make him your friend for a change. Make him your friend. And has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. I will talk at a later stage for a different topic about he made us priests and kings to God and his Father. That's a long and very deep topic. Anyway, I want to get to this point. Verse 7. Behold... He, meaning Jesus Christ, is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him. He's coming back with a cloud. What is in the cloud? Water. What is the Lord coming with? He's coming with a cloud, meaning water. He is coming to quench the thirst of everyone who says, I'm thirsty to you, Lord. He's coming to quench your thirst. Those who seek the Lord will be quenched. Those who say we are thirsty for the Lord, he's coming with a cloud and he's going to quench that thirst and he'll say, here I am, my child. You were seeking me. You were searching for me from the heart. I am the God of the heart. You seek me through your heart. You will see me in your heart. And then I'll take you from there and I'll put you in my heart. I will quench your thirst. And to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. He is the king of all kings. He is the leader of all leaders. He is the Lord of all lords and the ruler over all the kings of the earth. And his dominion, his authority, his sovereignty is forever. It will never end. It is forever. Forever. 